Alright, all my Detroit Piston fans and all my Detroit fans, all my Motor City Sports Talk fans, make sure you guys go check out Piston Mike. We got him over 100 followers, so make sure you check him out. Everything Pistons, man, he gonna hold it down and do his thing just strictly on the Pistons thing. You know, I got the lines of Pistons, but man, we always trying to help people get their channel up. Let's get him to 200 next, 300 next, 400 next, 500 next, and let's get him all the way to a rack so he can start making that bag. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you go over to Piston Mike as you see it on the screen. Let's get him to 200, then 300, then 400, then 500, and the whole shebang. Peace. All right, K. Cunningham was in Detroit yesterday. Let's talk about it. It means something. It means a lot of nothing. It means a little bit of something. Let's talk about it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Share the video. Came to the Detroit Tigers game. He was mingling with a couple fans on the street. Um, there's a report I talked about yesterday that said that. Excuse me. That said he's going to be the pick, and we also talk about the 20 invitees to the draft this year. So um, they said projected number one pick, K. Cunningham, visit Detroit. Project number one pick, K County visit Detroit to meet with the Pistons. All right, let's read the article. Child Detroit Lions Talk playlist. It says, on Monday, projected number one overall pick, K County reportedly visit the Detroit Pistons ahead of the NBA draft. According to James Edward III on Athletics. Excuse me. I'm sorry, at least I'm on that fan. Of course, Cunningham was widely considered to be one of the top picks in the NBA draft. Next week, he was only expected to visit the Pistons once the organization was awarded number one pick in the the draft lottery last month. The Pistons are said to be highly likely to draft Cunningham after the team was rumored to be willing to trade back, potentially target Jelly Green of the G League Ignite. Instead, it appears that K. Cunningham will be the choice for Detroit. Sure, everyone has seen the photos by now, but K. is in Detroit and met with the Pistons per sources. James Edwards, okay? Pistons Matt, general manager Troy Weaver previously said the team will look at all the options when it comes to the top pick. The statement by Weaver opened Dorps and speculation by drafting K. Cunningham wasn't a lot to happen, but no longer appears to be the case. The Pistons look at give K. Cunningham a grand tour of Detroit on Monday after visiting the team facility. He attended the Tigers game. They hosted uh, the Texas Razor at Comerica Park. He reportedly was spotted with the Detroit Pistons head coach Dwayne Casey and guard Sadiq Bay. With Cunningham in the house, the Tigers was 14-0 over the Rangers. Need him every day. I know the Rangers ain't that good. Uh, Cunningham is viewed as a franchise changing talent. And all that good stuff, right? And like I said before, I said you get him. There's no reason for killing him. People got mad because I said that. Because today's game, when you look at the teams in the finals, Giannis is a guy that's really extended in the finals because obviously they don't have a matchup for him. They got too much size in Milwaukee. And they should close it out tonight. But he has the ball, and now he's facilitating more to make people better. It's all about people who got the ball in their hands that's going to make the team better. Even that's by playmaking, that's taking attention, you know, sucking attention in and kicking it and everybody getting open shots. That that's what that's kind of what I mean by that. But I think K can be in the form of Trey Young, Luca, John Morant, LaMelo Ball, Chris Paul, run the show, come off the pick and roll, a nightmare. Even off the pick and roll, he can shoot, he'll get a look, eventually get a floater. He can pop and shoot, he can facilitate, kick it to the roller or the pick or the popper. I go to the shoulder. We seen Killian standing looking at Blake Griffin last year when he had the ball. It's no need for him unless he's gonna be a backup. Let K get the ball day one. Let him facilitate, roam the floor like uh Magic Johnson. Let him have the show right, right away. Let him be able to make people better. Killian experiment over with. Had you got the number one pick, you could two number two pick, you could have got got away with it. But if he the guy that's gonna have the ball in his hand and make people better, give it to him. If you want to play him off the ball, I think you got a better options off the ball. I'm not saying he's not good, but um, as far as talent, you take him. You find a way to make it work. You find a way to make it. But him and Killian, Killian, I just don't like the way Killian look at motherfuckers when they got the ball. Then you know they said they, they said they want to play him as a two, but he's not a slasher. You know I would I would trade back in the draft. I'm gonna do a video on guys they should trade back in the draft and get. But it's a couple guys that you know they should look at. Now they got a, now they got a score. Trade back in there and get Moses Moody. Moses Moody gonna be upgraded defensively over Killian eventually, and he can he's upgrade shooting wise. But um, Bo Knight, Keon Johnson, I say Keon Johnson because he ain't got to learn how to shoot in Detroit right away. You got Grant Bay, K who can shoot it, really not a liability. He can get out there defend, finish at the rim. So there's some guys out there, but um. But, but, yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. You know, week out, they, they hasn't hosted Jalen Green. We haven't heard about Jalen Green working out. So, I mean, we're pretty sure he was going to be the pick. We knew he was going to be the pick. 
they don't get the number one pick to trade out of it. You know, even if it's a king's ransom. I mean, I just think when you historically haven't had the number one pick, you historically get, when you got a guy that can change your franchise right away. I just think you know you go with it. But my thing is, and I said the K should be the number one. I've been saying it for a while now. I changed my mind. I just think him and Killian are a good fit. Killian like to stand, stop and serve. He's not a slasher. He can't finish at the rate. They need to find him a two guard. Package him with somebody in Dumoye and get back in the draft and find you a two guard. That's just my personal opinion. People saying it can work, it can work. My thing is this. The reason why I like Keon Johnson a lot, he's going to bring athletic, explosive score to the table. That's one thing he's going to bring. He's going to bring explosive score to the table. Who, I mean, unless Josh Jackson, you know, going to the role, you know, who your explosive scorer? Then, I mean, Kate is nice. He's going to get you buckets, but you need somebody that's going to slash and get to the bucket. That's something they don't have. Sadiq Bay going to sit, sit, you know, he's going to sit on the three-point line. He may post every now and again. Um, Jeremy Grant is a guy who uh, he can score, but he, he, who you going to have slash and get into the rim? Who you going to have other than K that's going to get their own bucket? You know, they need to go out there and find somebody. Even if it's going to be Moses Moody, he's going to sit there and shoot. That's an upgrade over uh, Killian Hayes because he's not a knockdown shooter and he's not a slasher. You know, if I be doing everything in my power to get Moses Moody or Keon Johnson, those, those are guys... Those are the guys that uh they should be looking at. Honestly, those are the guys that they legitimately should be looking 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 at to rebuild their franchise. To help at the two guard spot. They gotta avoid their Josh Jackson, 6'8, kinda of big for a two guard. More of a three, you know. But back on code, back with him there and they they shot and we went okay, we went okay. I mean, we all know you come to Detroit. Question is, do we want to be here? If you don't want to be here, come out here and say, I want to be here. They was excited to come to Detroit. Most people speculated that Jalen Green don't want to be here, but he ain't said nothing. I checked his Twitter. We can check his IG. For somebody, for somebody who, uh, for somebody who wanted to, uh, who should be competing to go one, he's been very, very silent. He posted one day ago, middle of the summer, I got my hoodie on. That's a and like he's smoking. I could be you know that's just his finger, my bad. And the shit that he wearing, no, uh, he can't be no piston, bro. The shit that he wearing. Man, these these kids today some fruitcakes. I'm sorry. They some uh, hostess pies. I guess it's just I guess it's just integrating, you know, pop music. And then the way they be posing and standing, bro, I'm good on him. I think he'll be a good player, man, but just Mm -hmm. I see that I only ask the players about their sexuality. You know, uh, I don't know, man. I I'm good on him. Let's go to Kate. Uh, let's go to Kate. Uh, Kate IG. Oh, he doing? Uh, oh, hold on, man. We we at least. He, he doing off guard pictures, man. That's just man, boy. That's why I ain't got no kids, not bro. That's why I ain't got no kids, dude. My my son not gonna be. That's just lack of black males being in the household, letting the TV raise your kid. But what he wearing and doing, I take that over Jalen Green. You know, I can, I can get with that. But Jalen Green was doing some uh, some sassy shit. I ain't seen this many pictures with, with another man in my life. Maybe he ain't got no girlfriend. I don't know, man. It's just to me, it's hilarious today, bro. But I can take, I can take what he's doing. But I, man, I'm back in, I remember back in the day, man. What no nigga posing for no pictures? You know, we was in high school in the club. I mean, a nigga might do a little, might a little something like that. These niggas putting their hands on their hips and shit, man. Man, but I, as a piston fit. Fashion wise and mannerism wise, K cutting him over Jalen Green all day. Tell him the shit Jalen doing, man. He can stay out there in uh, California. You know. But he got Adidas on, though. So we'll see. We'll see. But, um. Yeah, man, I can't get, I can't get diggy with this shit. I can't get diggy with this shit. No, 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 no. Getting jiggy with it. No, no. I can't get jiggy with this shit.
But no way, Jose. Jalen Green doing all that sassy shit. Can't be a Piston player. Can't be a Piston. I think K. I think a Carl Sexton a fit with a a fit with old boy. People got mad because I said uh, Kobe White was better than uh, than Killian Hayes. He was. I mean, what metric is Kobe? It was Killian Hayes better than Kobe White? There's none. I can't believe people think that. Killian can't even get ten points in the game two games in a row. But let's move on, right? Uh. Uh, uh, hmm. Hold on, I'm trying to pull it up. Toss it up, thug style. Toss it up. You know, then he shot that video. The next day he died. Pop. But uh, sources say K. Cunningham, Jalen Green, every mobile amongst 20 invited to the NBA green room. Okay, it says 20 players have been, had and received an invitation to 10, 21 NBA draft to sit in the green room. We got K. Cunningham, Jalen Green, Evan Mobley. Jalen Suggs, Jonathan Kaminga, Scotty Burns, Davion Mitchell, excuse me, James Bolnar, Keon Johnson, Franz Wagner, Josh Giddy, I don't know the hell that is, Jalen Johnson, Corey Crisper, Moses Moody, Kai Jones received the first batch of 15 invites last week with Aprian Sengong, Sing Sing Cameron Thomas, Zaire Williams, Chris du Durat, and Isaiah Jackson receiving the final five. And Isaiah you ever really noticed there ain't no, when you look at the mock draft, there ain't no foreign Superman this year that came out of nowhere? You all notice that? Ain't really no top five foreign guy, top ten. Now, Franz Wagner, he went to Michigan, so I'm not, somebody that come from overseas. Ain't really that, ain't really there this off, this, this season. Huh. Not to my knowledge, but maybe somebody might go. First, I don't know everybody. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video quest. Or you want to advertise on the channel, hit me up. Uh, you want to make a financial donation, cash app CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate, share, share the video, subscribe, and uh, thumbs up the video. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Check out Detroit Pistol Talk playlist out one time for the one time. Peace.